Yeah, hello. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Yep, no worries, thanks, bye. The process of hand making felt requires water. I have a small rainwater tank which I use for this and for the garden. The tap is blocked, so I siphon water from the top. As the water level lowers during the long breaks between rainfall, it gets harder to reach the water from the top. The wool comes from sheep, of course. And they need water too. As the drought gets worse, the lovely small producers that I procure much of my wool from start talking about hand feeding and reducing stock. Sometimes the quality of the fleece changes and the amount of vegetable matter in it increases from stock being fed on hay rather than the green grass in the paddock. We pray for rain. Still no rain. The web, the news, reports and social media start showing more images of dry, cracked, stock dams and the remains of animals that didn't make it. Dust storms taking away the precious topsoil, even the lawn in my little town block, which I refuse to water, starts to crunch, crumble and turn to dust if I walk on it. The summer temperatures start early and still no rain. Even the veggie garden, with hand watering, now struggles as the temperatures and dryness bake the ground and the poor plants. Praying and hoping for rain has become a greeting as you meet others. Now the land and the forest are so dry that it takes little to cause a blaze. First, not far from me, see the smoke. Breathe the destruction. The images on the web change from drought to fire as more and more of Australia's forests burn. Red and black skies in the middle of the day, holding breath while waiting for news that friends and loved ones in harm's way have made it through. Tears at the utter devastation wreaked in some areas. Whispering for rain, with little energy left.
and finally it rains. The smell turns from smoke to a different aroma. A little turns into a lot, turns into a deluge. Floods churn the land and wash away the roads and bridges. But tanks are full, stock dams and water supply dams, all topped up and overflowing. But not everywhere, for some, the wait for water goes on.